Russia, a once mighty player on the global economic stage, is now facing one of its gravest financial crises in years. The ruble, the lifeblood of its economy, is plummeting to new lows, shaking the very foundations of the nation's economic stability. But why is this happening? What does it mean for Russia's future? And could this be the tipping point that changes everything? Stay tuned, because in today's video, we're diving deep into the collapse of the Russian ruble, uncovering the reasons behind its sharp decline and exploring what it spells for the country's economic survival. The value of a currency often mirrors the strength of a nation's economy, and Russia is no exception. The ruble's continued crash is more than just a number on a screen. It's a reflection of the turmoil unfolding within the country. Right now, the ruble is the most visible indicator we have to assess the real-time health of the Russian economy. The Kremlin has imposed severe restrictions on the data it shares with the world, leaving us with few reliable metrics. But among those that remain, like inflation, interest rates, and sporadic data on manufacturing and exports, the ruble is the key piece of the puzzle. Just recently, on October 1st, the ruble hit a new low, trading at 96 rubles per US dollar. This marks the weakest point in over a year. For context, before Russia's invasion of Ukraine in early 2022, the ruble typically hovered around 75 to 1 US dollar. This sharp drop is a red flag, signaling deeper issues within the Russian economy and raising questions about its future on the international stage. The significance of the ruble's crash goes beyond the exchange rate. Russia is a major player in global trade, and the value of its currency directly affects its ability to engage in that trade. A weakening ruble makes everything more expensive for Russian consumers and businesses. With international transactions often conducted in stronger currencies like the US dollar or the euro, Russia's crumbling ruble means the cost of imports skyrockets. As the ruble weakens, Russians are forced to pay more for goods that haven't increased in value globally, but have become more expensive due to the exchange rate. This surge in prices contributes to rising inflation, which is a major concern for the Russian economy. While the ruble's decline against the US dollar is alarming, it's not an isolated issue. Russia's economic pivot toward China and India has exposed even more cracks in its currency's value. Since Russia's invasion of Ukraine, these two nations have become crucial trading partners. Let's take a look at the Chinese Yuan. Back in June, one Chinese Yuan traded for 11.4 rubles. But today, the exchange rate has risen to more than 13.5 rubles, representing an 18% drop in the ruble's value in just three months. This collapse isn't limited to China either. The ruble's decline against the Indian rupee follows a similar pattern. Over the past year, Russia's currency has weakened against virtually every major currency, not just the US dollar or the Chinese yuan. This widespread depreciation paints a clear picture. The ruble is falling across the board, indicating a deep and systemic problem within Russia's economy. The big question on everyone's mind is, why is this happening now? Why has the ruble's decline accelerated over the last few months? The answer lies in a combination of factors, both external and internal. Russia has been grappling with sanctions imposed by Western nations since the invasion of Ukraine, but recent developments have pushed the situation to a critical point. Firstly, the sanctions themselves have grown tighter. The US has threatened both China and India, Russia's primary trade partners, with secondary sanctions if they engage with sanctioned Russian entities. This has caused delays and even cancellations of payments to Russian companies, creating a severe cash flow crisis. Without timely payments, Russia is struggling to meet its financial obligations, further straining the economy. This liquidity squeeze has forced the Russian central bank to scale back its support of the ruble, leaving the currency vulnerable to market forces. Additionally, Russia's economic structure is starting to crack under the weight of these pressures. The shift in trading partners from Europe to Asia hasn't yielded the economic recovery Russia hoped for. The discounts Russia initially offered to countries like China and India to secure oil and gas deals have narrowed, but the long-term benefits haven't materialized. The economic isolation resulting from sanctions, coupled with lower demand for Russian exports, is exacerbating the currency crisis. So, what does the continued crash of the ruble mean for Russia? 
The implications are staggering. As the ruble falls, the cost of importing goods rises sharply. Let's break this down with a simple example. Imagine a product that costs $1. Three months ago, you'd need 84 rubles to buy it in Russia. Today, that same product costs 95 rubles. While the global price hasn't changed, Russian consumers are now paying 13% more in rubles due to the currency's depreciation. This price increase hits Russian consumers hard, driving up inflation. Inflation in Russia has become an increasingly severe issue, with prices rising every month. While much of the world has seen inflation cooling down after the pandemic, Russia's economy is bucking the trend. The fall of the ruble is a key factor behind this inflation surge, and it's not just consumers who are feeling the pain. In response to rising inflation, the Russian central bank has been forced to hike interest rates. Just over a year ago, interest rates were at 7.5%. Today, they've more than doubled to 19%. These sky-high rates make borrowing money incredibly expensive, putting a massive strain on businesses and individuals alike. Companies are now less likely to invest in growth, and individuals are discouraged from taking on new loans due to the soaring costs. This reduction in borrowing and investment slows down economic activity, further damaging Russia's already struggling economy. As inflation and interest rates spiral out of control, the Russian government is left with fewer options. The central bank can no longer prop up the ruble as it once did, and the government is increasingly reliant on dwindling foreign reserves. In the long term, this creates a dangerous cycle. The weaker the ruble becomes, the harder it is for Russia to recover. Looking ahead, the outlook for the ruble and the Russian economy as a whole remains grim. In the short term, we can expect the ruble to continue its downward spiral. Sanctions will likely tighten even further, and Russia's limited access to international markets will exacerbate its economic isolation. Moreover, with key trading partners like China and India demanding to conduct trade in stronger currencies, the ruble's demand will continue to drop, leaving it vulnerable to even greater devaluation. In the long term, Russia faces an uphill battle. The combination of sanctions, inflation, and high interest rates is a recipe for prolonged economic stagnation. Without meaningful reforms or a reversal of its current geopolitical strategy, Russia may find itself locked in a downward spiral with no easy way out. The collapse of the Russian ruble is more than just a currency issue. It's a symptom of a much deeper economic crisis. With no signs of recovery on the horizon, the situation looks bleak for Russia's future. The ruble's continued crash is a stark reminder of the fragility of Russia's economy in the face of global isolation and internal mismanagement. What happens next will depend on whether the Kremlin can navigate this crisis or if this marks the beginning of an even larger economic catastrophe for Russia. If you found today's analysis insightful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on the Russian economy and global financial trends.